Right, tonight we're going to do a tour of the girly bars, all the most popular girly bar streets in Phnom Penh tonight. But before I do it, I'm outside. We're going to do where you pick up the solo girls that don't work in girly bars. They work alone. And unless you really know Phnom Penh and Cambodia, I advise you not to come here. You know, I advise you not to come here and pick up the solo girls that don't work in a bar. We're outside an embassy. I won't name the embassy, but their flag has got the stars and stripes on it. And opposite, there's a park where girls work from solo. And they'll give you, they'll say, they'll give you a good time for $5. Now, if you take them back to your apartment, hotel, or hostel or anything, they'll take everything of value from you. And some of them, some of them are ladyboys, and they are really, really dangerous to have in your apartment. You've picked them up from a park, you don't know who they are, you've got no ID. If anything goes missing, when anything happens, you've got no way of, you know, they won't be there tomorrow night or the next night or the next night. So be very careful when you're coming to Cambodia and Phnom Penh about picking up solos along Riverside or anywhere in, in, in Cambodia. They'll offer you $5, $7, $10 for a good time, but you're the one that's going to lose everything you own. But if you think you know more than me then you know go ahead and do it so let's do the park where all the solo girls work from and then we'll go into town and do the most popular girly bar streets and I'm filming from a tuk-tuk so if I'm walking along they hide their faces in their hands but in a tuk-tuk they don't know I'm coming along and you'll see them so we'll do the most popular girly bars after we've done this park and we'll start now that's the the embassy. It's it's actually a criminal offence to film embassies in in Phnom Penh, and um, it's the Stars and Stripes embassy. I won't name it, and I won't film anymore um, because it's a criminal offence. So that's the embassy over there, and this is a park. And here it's very dark, and they're in there. And the embassy is over there. So don't come to this area at night time. Daytime is okay. But I'm not going to film any more of the embassy. It's a criminal offence. This is Watnam Park, just not very far from the American embassy. And this is also okay in the daytime, but do not pick any females up or anyone that looks like a female or do any business in this park here it's called Wat Nong Park in Cambodia, Nong Pen don't, you can go and see the park but don't talk to anyone they're all dubious people in there and it's not safe at night time for those who doesn't know their way around Nong Pen we're just going to do Street 104 first, one of the most popular streets in Phnom Penh, Cambodia for girly bars. And we're going to film from a tuk-tuk. Now, I get a lot of comments on, you know, a lot of a bad reviews about the girls, you know, underage and all the type of thing. The girls have to be 18 years old to work in a girly bar in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And I get a lot of comments, oh, the girls are only 13, 14, 12. They're not. They've all got an ID, and they have to have a government ID when they turn 18, and they have to use this to work on the girly bars. So don't give me... And I shouldn't really say girly bars. I get a lot of comments, you know, is there a different gender bars? Yes, there are lots of different gender bars. doesn't matter what gender you are, a male, a female a buy, uh, you know, uh, you know what they are without me describing them. Whatever you are, they have a bar for you. And I just call them girly bars, I should call them, could call them gender bars or people bars or hostess bars, but the name used in Phnom Penh or Cambodia are girly bars. And I'll just go for the word girly bar 
and I forget any lots and lots of bad comments or that upset you that I use keep on using the word girly bar I'm sorry it's just so we're going to do a tour of the most popular girly bars in Phnom Penh, Cambodia tonight so the first street is street 104 the shortest street in the whole of Cambodia and more girly bars per square meter in street 104 than any other probably street in the whole world before COVID-19, there would be between three and 500 girls working in a street about 300 metres long. So we're going to look at the girly bars. It's a, what's, it's a Thursday or is it today Thursday? What's today, Thursday or uh, Wednesday? Uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Today, I've, I've lost it. Today is Thursday, so it'll be, it won't be as busy as it is on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday and it's about 8 30 at night so let's go and do this two an hour slow, slow. we're about to turn into street 104 the shortest street in cambodia non and probably all the world uh, this is street 104 this is a must come if you're coming to non Penh, cambodia come to street 104 We'll go down there and see the girly bars down here and see if there's any girly bars. A little bit faster. G'day mate. Yeah, good. G'day mate, how you going? Good. Yeah, good. I can't go anywhere in non Pendle or Cambodia without someone yelling out my name. Right, we're coming to the end and we're going to go back and do the other side. For all those who, that used to be the pickle parrot there, it's no longer here in non Pen, pickle parrot. So we're going to do a U turn and go back and do the other side of non Pen, starting with the bunny bar. So if you're coming to the, if you're from Australia or New Zealand, come to the very first, the Bunny Bar here. It's owned by an Australian and they've got a British manager called Shane. So that's the Bunny Bar there. You know, really worth, you know, the Bunny Bar. Hello, John. G'day, mate. How you going? Hey, girls. <laughs> Oh, how do they? How why are they yelling out my name? Right, that's the end of Street One Hundred Four. Right, we're going to do Street One Ten now. This is Street 110. I'm in the back of a tuk-tuk and even my my stabiliser is a bit because the tuk-tuk's got no suspension and every little bump in the road it makes my camera move. This is Street 118. Yeah, so we'll do a tour here. Hello, girls. I thought I was hiding in a tuk tuk. <laughs>
is they haven't got a lot of customers. The girls sit outside, but they've got a lot of customers. All the girls are inside the bar. So we pass these bars with no girls sitting outside. They're all full inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we'll just turn back and do it, go down the other side. I thought I'd be hiding in a tuk tuk and no one would know me. They're all yelling out my name. The next street we're going to do is 136, and that's the most popular and the most girly bars and 136 it's the, long, it's, it's the longest girly bar street and 136 but this is on a Thursday night at 8.30 at night Next street will be 136. Right, this is street 136. Hello girls. Bye -bye. These are all girly bars, the whole lot. Sorry about my camera moving around, but the tuk-tuk's got no suspension and it's a really bumpy road full of potholes after the heavy rain. So he's just going to turn around and go that back the other way. covering their faces. That's an eating place there. This is actually street 110, not, uh, not 136. We're going to do 136 next. Even I, after 17 years, gets my streets mixed up. After living here for a while, oh, they all look the same. So we're going to go around to 136 now. Right now we're in street 136. Hello. Hey mate. Just keep on going down. Do the next part too. Good. 
No, keep on going down, yeah. Keep on going down. No, don't. Yeah, down, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep on going down. So you can see on a Thursday night, it's one of those slow nights, how busy and active it is. Street 136. Well, I'll, I'll film the other side when I come back. I'll do this side first. This is Street 136, the longest and more girls than this street, the longest, it's the longest girly bar street, full of girly bars. Right, turn around now, we'll turn around here and do the other side. Sorry about my camera moving. The road's really, really potholy. Yeah, the girls are not happy that I'm filming them from the tuk-tuk. Hello mate, yeah, oh! That used to be the old candy bar there. The old candy bar used to be there and the, and the one that went in there now also shut down. So well, that's the end of 136. We'll go down and do street number 19 and street number 5. Right, this is street number 5. And we're going from one end. There's only a few stool holders down the far end. And when we get along a bit further, we're going to cross over 136, the street we just come from. So this is street number 5. And this is Street 136 that we've just been down, and this is Street number 5. Sorry about my camera, there's so many bumps on this road. That's a restaurant there, open 24 hours a day. So you can sit out there day and night girls will come up to you. That's called the Billionaires Club girly bar on the corner there. But you don't have to be a billionaire to go in there. Sorry about my camera. The road is so potholy after the heavy rain. Even my stabiliser won't hold it still. Hey girls! See they're all covering their faces, see? So if I walked along here you would have seen nothing. So at least I'm hiding in a tuk-tuk but they still know me. G'day mate! We're coming to the end and we'll go back and do the other side. I'll just turn it off till we turn around. Right, going back the other side and do the other side of Street 19, uh, number five.
That's the restaurant's open 24 hours a day. Go down to street 51 now. Go down to 51. Do I have another look at street 136? We're going to another street called 51, which is a one way street. with me. Hey. So we're going to have a look at Street 51, which used to be the most famous street in all of Phnom Penh for girly bars, but it's it's become like a, you know the the outskirts of Phnom Penh now, and hardly anyone ever goes there now. So we're going to have a look at it. We're going to do one uh, Matura, one Street 172. There's only one, two girly bars on the street, but I've been doing a lot of videos on street 172 and all the budget restaurants and accommodation. And so this is street 172 at, at um, about nine o'clock at night. It's about nine o'clock. So you can see all the restaurants and the budget accommodation is all full of people and tourists. So this is Street 172, not a girl, well there's two or three girly bars in here but it's not known as a girly bar street, it's just known as a street where everyone likes it, it's got everything in it, Street 172. Budget accommodation, hotels, hotels, free swimming pools, and you've seen a lot of videos on one Street 72, 172, so this is just a night time view of it. And there's the big easy there. I'm going there for breakfast tomorrow, so I'll do a breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> Hello! So I'll go back and do the other side. So that's the big easy over there. Tomorrow morning I'll, I'll, I'll go there for breakfast and do a review, a review on a video on the big easy for breakfast and accommodation. There's so many big potholes on the road after heavy rain and even the tuk-tuk's got no suspension. We're hitting these potholes and even my stabiliser's not working. That's the Black Pearl early bar there. There's a massage place there. That's where you get all your free, all your cheap, not free, cheap alcohol from. Whatever brand you want, they sell it. Whatever country you come from. There's the Sundance at night time. There's a three dollar massage place in there. You know it's not a three dollar massage. Hey. Hello mate! There's another girly bar there. Sheep restaurants and guest houses and hotels. Hostels. So that's it on street 172. We'll do 51 street and then we'll go home. This is a pontoon nightclub for all young at heart. But the music in there is about 160 decibels. You know, not very good for your hearing. 
uh, and it's not really get active until about 11 o'clock at night. And on the other side of the road, there's a, a nightclub called Heart of Darkness, and I'll just show it to you from the tuk-tuk. So it doesn't get really busy until about 11, midnight, until 5, 3 or 4, 5 in the morning. So it's actually going down a one way street. So this used to be... There's a lot of, still a lot of girly bars in Street 51. We're actually going down a one way, one -way street. So this is 51, which used to be the street at Nong Head. But it's now... That's the heart of darkness here, and that's an all-gender bar nightclub. So whatever gender you are, you come to the heart of darkness, you know, and it fits, it's an all, it's an all-person nightclub and bar, all genders there. So whatever gender you are, whatever gender you are, you'll find at the Heart of Darkness Club in Street 51. So there's Plan B Girly Bar over here and there's lots of girly bars in here. We're actually going down a one-way street. <laughs> He's going down a one-way street. We're asking the world, could you drive down a one-way street and no one say anything? But there's still lots of girly bars in Street 51. But it's not as busy as it used to be. It used to be the street in Nong Hen Cambodia. But not any longer. But I think we better we better turn around here and go back home. Otherwise you'll get... If, the, if he gets pulled up by the police... He doesn't get fined, I do. They know the tuk tuk driver hasn't got any money, but they know I have and they'll, now I'll be fined 30 or $40 and I won't get a ticket or go, the money will go in his pocket. Yeah, so there's all different like girly bars and all gender bars for everything. This here, yeah, just go along a bit, a bit further. Yeah, this place in here, cool Pub Street, this used to take up three or four city blocks. And if you come here in the daytime or at night time and sit in the Pub Street in the foyer here, you can get beers and they'll bring you all the, all the different clubs that are in, in this little area here. But it used to cover two or three city blocks, it's only down to a little small area now. But if you come here, in the daytime or all the night time, girls will come and see you. You don't have to go and see them. But be very, very cautious. Ask them to show their ID and take a photograph with their ID if you're going to take them back to the hotel room. And if you're going to have a shower, make sure they come with you. Don't leave them out in your room. So you need eyes in the back of your head if you take a girl, a solo girl back. That's not from a girly bar. So you can come here and pick up, you know, you pick them up here for $10, $15, $20 for a good one hour or two hour, but you have to have eyes in the back of your head. Don't take your eyes off them for one moment. You go and have a clean your teeth or go in the bathroom or go in the shower, make sure they're with you wherever you, even if you go in the kitchen to get a drink, make sure they come with you. They have to be next to you all the time when they're in your apartment, otherwise they'll take everything of value. So uh, just be warned. There's one down here waiting. And there's... So that's the heart of darkness over there on Street 51, and that's an all-gender nightclub. Doesn't matter what gender you are or what you're into, you'll find it in the heart of darkness. Okay, thank you. Yeah, proper. Yeah, go home now. Home.
Now here's the girl here. Hello. Yeah, so we'll go home now. So that's the end of it. So if you want to leave any comments, leave them down below. And I'll get back to you. I'll leave all my information down below. And if you want to know anything about this video or any other videos or any information, I'll leave all the information down below. And I hope I haven't offended anyone. I know I have and I know I'm going to get lots of WhatsApp messages and a lot of abuse for what I've done tonight. But for those who enjoyed it, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I take all comments, whether a negative or positive, as positive. You know, I don't offend anyone, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to offend anyone. And if I have, I'm sorry. So this is a video that a lot of people have asked for it, and I've done it. And if I've offended you, I'm sorry. This is Mystery Cambodia signing off for the night. And tomorrow I'll be posting another video about eating at the Big Easy breakfast tomorrow morning. So all the best, and I'll leave all my comments down below. And hope you're all the best. And maybe see you in Cambodia, Phnom Penh one day. Thank you for watching. Mystery Cambodia. Good night.